Welcome back everybody to some more Krim Grossen's adventure. And today we're gonna head it in back into this type of place. And oh. It's the Emperor! Oh, they saw me. And those guys again. Alright, let's go ahead and help him. You stay up there so I can shoot you. No, don't come down here. Oh, never mind, they got it. Oh shit, no! Take it. No, I'm not. I'm seriously not. Even though I'm wearing the same hood. But that's not... He can help us. He must help us. As you wish, sire. Come closer. I'd prefer not to... They cannot <laughs> understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? I don't Listen, know, man. You know the Nine. How they guide our fates with an invisible hand. Um... I don't know anything. <laughs> not on good terms with the gods. Uh, I guess... I don't know. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. The Scorpion! But I don't believe it's in this game. No, so now we can pick the birth sign, which will give us um, a power of some sort. For example, the Atronach will um, disable our magic regenerating over time, but instead we have 50% spell absorption, which means that we have a 50% chance when getting hit of a spell to just absorb the spell and get magic from that. And also our base magic is increased by 200 points. So. It, that really changes how you use magic and uh, how that works, uh, but uh, not gonna go with that for me. And um, some of you players out there who know this game can see that the birth signs have changed a little bit. And that's what the Uskoros Oblivion Overhaul did, um, amongst other things. But uh, he balanced out the um, birth signs. So there, some of them before were not very good at all, but now all of them are good in some way. Uh, for example, the warrior will have more fatigue uh, recovery, plus the 10 points to strength and en endurance. And um, I was <laughs> debating on going with the Lord, because I love saying that. And uh, it also gives you the ability Blood of the North, and I live in Northern country, so... I like that, and resistance to frost, but we gain a curse, which is 50% weakness to fire. Not very fond of that idea, but that healing is very good, it's a 90 point healing over time. Very good in the beginning, but in the later game it's not so very good. So I want something that's good all the time, and so I was thinking of going with the thief, because the orcs, they start with low agility and speed. So this can boost it up a little bit, so they're more agile. Uh, because right now I have a lot of strength and endurance and willpower, but I lack in intelligence, agility and speed. And personality as well. But uh, since this is a commentary and we want to run around and have um, fun and explore, I think the steed, the horse of course, will be very good. Because we get 20 more speed. So that's nice. And also we get more fatigue recovery all the time. And fatigue is something we really need to stay in, sh in shape in, in the battles. So we don't fall down and so we can do damage and all that. So I'm going to go with the horse. Let's do it. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. No! Why? Why are you stepping into your death? Your stars are not mine. Today, the steed shall speed your progress on the road to destiny. Yeah! Thanks. Can you see my fate? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face, I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, 
My heart must be satisfied. Ah, your voice. God damn, dude. Aren't you afraid to die? No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. Except you! In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death. To face my apportioned fate, then fall. Oh, uh, really? Where are we going? I go to my grave. Oh, stop it! A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. What kind of sick bastard? Boris, did you hear that? You may as well make yourself useful. Carry that torch and stick close. Sure. Uh, you real septum. Tell me something about him. My job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive, and I intend to do it. <laughs> really now? All right, let's see how that goes. Um, I think I shall take off the hood so that I don't... Uh... Yeah. There's no time to talk now, prisoner. Why, you're the you one talking to me! What the fuck, man? I'm just gonna loot these guys. Um, was that all of them? I guess so. All right, let's run. Hello, dude. Do you have anything? Oh, fortify strength for 10 points uh, for 30 seconds. Nice. I'm gonna close the door behind us. Oh, a chest. Arrows and lockpicks. Nice, nice. So I'm actually recording this the day after, and uh, right now it's... Oh, okay, I will just let you guys take care of this while I look up the date of today. Nope, nope, nope. I'm busy here. Okay, so the last um, part, the first part, was uh, September 29th, 2015. And now it's uh, September 30th. Wednesday. Or Wednesday. The way it's spelled. It's so weird. Uh, why did you guys go back? Is there something back here? Um, guys. Alright, so you just went up here to go back down again. <sighs> right, right, right. Okay. Fine. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Potion of healing. Nothing. Nothing. What the fuck, man? <sighs> Alright, so today I bought some food in the store. Uh, I bu needs help. No, you, I. She, he doesn't! You guys can take care of it. See that? And I bought myself a schnitzel. schnitzel. <laughs> and I. Man, you guys really are into this. So I made myself some schnitzel yesterday for dinner, and that was very tasty. <laughs> You're like, Crims, why the fuck are you telling us that? Why should we care? There is no point. I'm just saying whatever. Come on, Boris. I'm just gonna stick behind you. So I can backstab. No one has escaped from the Imperial prison in over 40 years. Hold up. I don't like this. Let you me don't? take a look. Alright. And also, yes, before starting this session, I put on a new pair of socks. And man, that just feels great. <laughs> I'm just telling useless information. Yeah. There is a lot of things I want to talk about, but I can't really go into that right now because stuff will happen and uh, it's not going to fit. I'm gonna wait with Damn that it. until the we get outside. The side. A trap. What about that and side uh, we have more free time. Worth a try. Let's go. Okay. Emperor, you're real, you just, you know you're about to die and you're just, you're just walking to it. Wouldn't a normal man be like, if they know that their death is coming, they would do something about it? I don't know. You even have I don't three people protecting here. you. They're you're nice. very egotistical, here, you know sir. that. Wait here with the Emperor, guard him with your life. Oh, I will. Emperor, over here. My sword oh. for the dragon. <laughs> you guys are so cute. I'm gonna help you punch them. What? He died? I told you to stay with the Emperor. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
I just gonna loot your friend. I want to take the sword. Just let me take the sword. There we go. You thought we go. My guards are strong and true, yep. but even the might of the blades cannot stand against the power that rises to destroy us. The Prince of Destruction awakes, born anew in blood and fire. These cutthroats are but his mortal pawns. Uh huh. Take my amulet, give it to Joffrey. I have a secret son, and Joffrey alone knows where to find him. Secret son? Find the last of my blood and close shut the marble jaws of oblivion. Wait a second! You're an emperor, and you have a secret son. Your amulet, then this is goodbye. This is where my journey ends. For you, though, the road is long and dangerous. <laughs> now, give me your hand. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow, he really likes me. Uh, I won't forget you with all my heart. Farewell. Um, I'll take it from here. Oh, I guess I won't forget you. Remember me and remember my words. This burden is now yours alone. You hold our future in your hands. Not alone. I have the. I have some YouTube watchers who will. No! 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 What the fuck? A normal type of assassin killed the emperor. Damn you! Oh, holy shit! Emperor! No. Talos save us. He's alive. Look at that. We failed. <laughs> I failed. The Blades are sworn to protect the Emperor, and now he and all his heirs are dead. Dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. I didn't steal it. He gave it to me. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. Mm -hmm. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Yep, sell it on the market. No, but I must take it to Joffrey. Joffrey? He said that? Why? Uh, there is another heir. Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory. Near the city of Coral. Okay. How do I get there? First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Hmm. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. All right, thanks. The sewers? There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you... I'm guessing you're an experienced acrobat. Am I right? Uh, uh, uh. You must now choose your class. The major skill of your class will start higher than your other skills. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, so he thinks that I am an acrobat. And the acrobats are stealthy, have agility, endurance, a little bit more of that. And pick locks, they sneak, they jump, they shoot with arrows, they block, they use blade and speechcraft. I never used a blade. You really suck. But then again, you didn't really see me when I was in the dungeon. But okay, so he's guessing acrobat. That's not true at all. Uh, the agents. We have a lot of different classes we can choose from here. And battle monk. Oh, look at that. Intelligence, strength, healing, sneak, jump, block, alteration, magic. Which is like shields and walk on water, breathe water, stuff like that. Hand-to-hand uh, -hand and athletics. That's really nice. That's something I would go with. And then we have healer, a normal monk. I don't really see the big difference here. They both have hand-to-hand -hand and marksman. No, this one doesn't have marksman. So, oh, what the fuck? Okay. Pilgrim, scout, rogue, sorcerer, thief, warrior. So there are three different uh, classes here that are pure in their specialization. The thief uh, is stealthy. 
and he has all of the mayor skills of a thief or the stealth uh, category. The warrior, the same there, he has all of the skills in the warrior category and the mage has all of it in that. Uh, but I'm gonna make my own class, which I really like that you can do that. So you can do whatever you want to be. But first we can like pick how shall our class look like, the portrait. And I think I'm gonna go with the monk because he's like, I'm gonna use my fist or my bow. So I'm gonna go with that type of image. Custom class. Uh, specialized skills get them more and increase faster. Uh, that's not really true now when we're using the XP mod, but still. Um, now I was going to go with um, stealth actually and have sneak and um, marksmanship and maybe acrobatics. But I'm actually gonna go with magic for my specialization. And <laughs> I think I actually am. Because we're gonna pick our skills very soon. Uh, so now we can choose our two favorite attributes and we'll gain five more to those two. Um, as I said, the orc has a little bit of speed and agility, but now that we ha now when we have this sp the steed birth sign, we have 20 more speed, so we're like up to par with uh, our strength and endurance. So our agility, intelligence, and personality is pretty low, and I think we're gonna need more agility. So we have more balance, more fatigue, and we do more damage with our bow, which we're going to use for long-range stuff. I think... Uh, yeah. And the second one is going to be luck, because luck is um, the slowest attribute to increase. You can only increase it by one for each level. So starting out with five plus on the luck is like five levels on that uh, right away. So, Agility and Luck is going to be our favorite attributes. And now our seven major skills. They will start at um, 25 and then plus what our race increases. For example, the Orc have 10 plus in heavy armor and like 5 plus in hand to hand. So those are going to start even higher than this. Uh, now let's see, what are we going to choose? I think the first one is going to be Athletics. We run and swim faster and regenerate fatigue faster and that's just perfect in fight. We can run around more, recover our fatigue and our travels will be faster when we run around. So athletics will be nice to have. High end. I'm not gonna use weapons, at least not in the beginning. Nope, nope. And no block either, even though it does count with hand-to-hand -hand blocking. But nope, we're not gonna go with block. I'm gonna use my agility and speed to dodge attacks. That's my plan. Conjuration is something we're going to have, and that's the only skill that has the Oblivion background and Oblivion sign or icon on this. But it enables us to um, summon otherworldly creatures and like magical weapons and armor. But we're mostly going to use it to summon creatures so they will fight for us, and that's going to help us a bunch, I think. I'm not really sure if we're gonna go with Conjuration, but we'll pick that for now. Destruction is just basic attack spells. Maybe not. We're gonna use our bow for ranged, ranged attacks and our hand-to-hand -hand for physical. So that's what we're gonna use, our fists. And the fist actually damaged, damaged both the health and the fatigue of enemies. So that's really cool. And I just like using my fist. Heavy armor. Uh, it's really nice, but it slows you down. It weighs a ton. So maybe later on in the game we're gonna go with heavy armor, but for now we're not gonna go with armor. We're gonna be very agile. Nothing is going to stop us. We're going to have a lot of... Um, what is it? Feather? You know, we can carry a lot of st stuff. Illusion is something we're gonna have. It enables us, enable us to charm, conceal, create light, silence, paralyze, command or affect... Uh, people and it, it will be very handy for example we can make someone in the city attack a random person and the guards will kill him so that's a way for us to kill somebody without us doing it you know directly and thereby we will not get any bounty for that <clears throat> so illusion it's pretty cool and we can like see in the light and i mean we can see in the darkness it's going to be very helpful 
Uh, marksman, of course, shoot with the bows and arrows. Restoration, really handy, so we can heal ourselves and buff. And it goes pretty well with Conjuration, so like we can summon a creature, and when it uh, has a low health, we can use our Restoration on it to heal it, or we can use our Restoration on it to like buff it, make it faster, make it stronger, and all of that. And let's see, we have one more to pick. Uh, speechcraft? Nope, nope. The great thing about Illusion is that we have Charm, and Charm can, you know, make people like you more. And so Speechcraft will not be very handy then, as a major skill. Sneak! That's what we're gonna have. We're gonna move on un unseen and unheard, because we're gonna do the Dark Brotherhood questline and uh, all that. So I think this is what we're gonna go with. Sneaking, Marksman, Healing magic, illusion, illusion magic, summon creature magic, not so sure about that, because, as I said, we're not gonna use weapons or armor, so that whole category is not going to be uh, crucial for us at all. We're just gonna use a summon creature spell, and thereby I think we might as well pick something else, like acrobatics, we can jump more and avoid damage when fall <coughs> when falling Ooh, I hate making decisions but uh, ah, summoning creatures is a lot of fun and we will go with that so athletics conjuration hand-to-hand -hand, illusion marksman restoration and sneak that's the way and enter a name for your class and this is where <laughs> it comes in what, what I said to that dark elf in the beginning and since I'm an orc I'm gonna name my class Green Jesus. Create Green Jesus class. Here it is. And so here we are. Are you sure you want to be a Green Jesus? <laughs> oh yes, I am sure. Really? I would never have guessed. Of course Still, you wouldn't. I don't think you'll have any trouble with rats and goblins. All right. Off to the sewers. Then what? You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? Sure, maybe. Now please explain more. Take it easy. You'll be fine. I know this is a lot to take in all at once. No one's more surprised than me that I'm sending an escaped prisoner off with the Amulet of Kings. <laughs> You're but right. the Emperor trusted you for a reason, and I trust the Emperor. Hmm. The Amulet of Kings must get to Joffrey at Wainan Priory. He'll know what to do with it. Fine. Joffrey should know how to find the heir the Emperor spoke of. The Amulet must reach Emperor Uriel's heir so a new Emperor can be crowned. Mm-hmm. What about you? What will you do? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. By the way, thanks for recovering my comrade's swords. I'll see that they are given a place of honor in the Halls of the Blades. What? No! no. I want to sell them! Uh, complete quest, no name. <laughs> 220 XP, that's a lot. Nice. And we're nearing the first level. So I'm just gonna move this body a little bit away from you. And I don't think it's going to lie so twisted. I think it's better if the Emperor is a little bit more... You know, you know, never mind. I'm just gonna leave you with this. So, loot this. Oh, Glenroy. Why you? That was a lot of assassins. Very much so. Alright, so I think I'm gonna end the first part here. Or maybe I will... Oh, look at that. Sandals. Oh, nice! Uh, see in the dark for 30 seconds. No, take it. All right, see you, Boris. Nice knowing you. I think I'm gonna end the part once we're out of the sewer. So the third part will will begin us entering the world and be totally free. And I think I think that's a nice way to start a part. So let's just run out of the sewer. We're so tired of seeing this, even though we haven't been in the sewer yet until now. No enemies. All right. Oh, there is a rat! PUNCH HIM! Ugh, about damn time we got to punch some rats in this episode. This place is pretty damn cool. Look at that. We can see the outside.
Did he see me? He is seeing me, but he doesn't do anything. <laughs> wow, times six damage. That's insane. Is there something... Oh, hello. Hello! I did not... I did not expect you to come there. Uh, where's my bow? Where's my bow? Don't drop the fucking... Okay, good. No, don't shoot. Take the torch. Why are you doing that? Good. Silver nugget. Nice. Garlic resist disease when we eat it, but there are three other unknown effects of eating garlic. Okay. Something to think about in real life as well. And there is the exit of the sewer. And now let's do a quick save here. And we're gonna end this episode. Uh, so now when you press on this door, you can uh, edit your race, your birth sign, and your class if you like want to, you know, change your mind. And one of my thoughts was to change my race to High Elf, have the Atronach, and do a pure Mage class. But uh, that's just going to be for another playthrough. May or may not be commentary. We're gonna go with my Green Jesus, Cream Grosen. Uh, what, we can't, we can't exit this menu. All right, but I will um, end this uh, second episode here. Um, I wasn't expecting these parts to be so long. I was trying to keep it around 20, but the first part was like 34 or 33 minutes, and this one is like 27. But uh, the other parts will probably not be as long as these first ones. But in the next episode, we're gonna head out to the sewer, I mean, out of the sewer, and into the open world, and we will do whatever we want. And if you have any requests, anything you want me to do, like uh, Crimson, go there, or do this, or, you know, visit that town, you can steer this um, series very much by just leaving a comment and let me know what you think and what you want me to do, and all that. And, um, once again, I thank you all very, very much for watching this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.